Oh, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. Why do I work these Saturdays? Because I got a handful of jobs is what I got. I got a handful of them and I'm going to have to work today. You know, it's it, it sucks, but I, I will tell you something. In another video that you'll see later on, I have just purchased something that I'm really proud of. So I'm going to have to start working every Saturday and Sunday. And that's really what I'm doing. I'm working every Saturday and Sunday so I can afford whatever I just bought. But, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of people have this misconception that Monday through Friday are the only days that you're supposed to work. And Saturdays and Sundays is just another day that you're not supposed to be working, right? Like, hey, I work Monday through Friday. I guess Saturday and Sundays I'll take. I don't look at things like that. I don't look at things like that. I work out there and I look at things like this is a chance to work on the weekends. And I'm going to tell you why. Because, see, the bills don't start coming on the weekends. They never start coming. Bro, oh, you need some help? You need some help? <laughs> hey, thanks, man. Hey, you're good, okay? No, look. So, uh, Junker you got nobody sitting here. You need help. No, no, it's cool. No, no, this is fine, bro. Don't worry about that. I'm just, I'm just gonna keep I got up. You. I got you. No, no, bro, bro. No, bro. Uh, this is awkward. Uh, this is awkward for my channel. I'll work for you today. I know you do junkable, but see you back here. That's junk, right? Yeah, that's. I mean, I just. That's junkable right there. What does that say? Lion, lion. What? Oh, Lionheart. Okay. Okay. Uh, Thing. Need some help? I'll just stay right here. Okay, 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 All fine, right. fine, fine, All fine. Right. Come on in, come on in, man. Let's go. <sighs> you know I got a handful of jobs today, right? You got gloves for me? I do got some. You got water? <laughs> you got lunch? You <laughs> Are you serious? What else you got? All right, never. Just come to work, dude. We got five oh. jobs on the schedule. Let's five. knock these out. I it was and it's, one. No, it's five jobs. And you, now you're stuck in the truck. Okay. Now you're stuck in the truck. No, no, you're stuck in the truck. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's go to the first job of the day. FW.net guys in the house. Who's this guy? Lionheart falling in jumper move. Boom, on cue. I just point and you just say. Yeah. It's okay. I love that. I love that. All right, guys, we have just finished the job right here. Didn't have any problems. Completed it. So, what do you think, Brandon? How long did it take us, brother? Probably 30, 35 minutes. Let's talk about the problem with the recycle and the junk that we put outside that looked valuable. Tell me what's going on right now, right now, right now. Look, you wouldn't turn, believe around, it if turn, I told you. turn around this way so we can show them right here. Talk to me right here, right here. So he literally, literally just said 10, 15 minutes ago that somebody's gonna come by and pick this up. I was like, I don't think so. And here we go. <laughs> and we, like you said, we tested it all out, it's all good. Yeah, so that's all the scrap. Then we put all the toys over there. So we got the scrap over here. And then we have the toys over here. We just had some Mexicanos. My people dig into that just a while ago. Uh, they didn't grab much, but job Safe completed. space in the trailer. Hey, hell yeah. Safe yeah. space. Safe the uh, room. Um, the safe the space. I don't know why I said that. Safe space. It takes weight. Um, and when you're driving, it takes weight off your truck. So maybe a little gas. Maybe some gas. We don't know. Okay. But it sounded good. Yeah. That sounded good. All right, guys. We're out of here. We're going to the next job. Uh, it is in Irving, Texas. So it's right up the street. And then I'll see you there. Hey, bro. Bro. All right, so I, we just showed up. I got Lionheart with me. He's 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 dumbfounded because we're throwing all this shit in the trash in their dumpsters. Yeah. Yeah, throw it all over there. Oh, yeah, 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 all over there. Um, let me show you what we got, okay? So he's loading right now. These mattresses I got to take with me. I can't dump them in the dumpster. Um, everything else, like this stuff, we're able to get out of here. And there's a few other things on the ground. Let me show you. Here's some stuff on the ground. That's going inside the dumpster. There's no reason why we're gonna take this stuff. If it fits inside the dumpster, they don't understand. The, the, the company, this company calls me to come and clean up the dumpster enclosure. They don't care if it's inside the dumpster or outside the dumpster, but I'm gonna take care of it. We're gonna put as much as we can inside the dumpster and the rest of it, we're gonna take with us, okay? So that's where we're at right now. Just 
uh, finished the job over here. <laughs> and uh, one of the mattresses had bed bugs. Brandon's over here hugging it and stuff, having a relationship with the mattress. No bed bugs. But yeah, whatever. Yeah, we, you're gonna have to walk the whole way. <laughs> He's walking to every. I'm more worried about the water. Yeah, this is sewer water. All right, everything's cleaned up. We're gonna go to the next dumpster. We'll go to the next dumpster. Let's see. Dude, we just showed up to this job. And, uh, you wanna break the news to them that we're out of fucking room? We're out of room. We're out of room. Dresser. That fucking dresser's going, dude. The dresser's going in here. You know what I mean? Let's get the dresser. Let's get that out. All right, so here's what's going on. Get, make some room, get the dresser out. That thing, put it in there. We'll take these with us. All right, so what's going on here is we just arrived to the secondary dumpster. Now, I'm gonna tell you what's going on is that we have another dumpster and that's right down the street. It's it's right down there. We're running out of room. Brandon's never worked like this where you dump shit in people's dumpsters. Yeah. But, oh, look, Brandon, 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 look, look, look. What's on the other side? Go look. There's something secretive on the other side. What is it? Nothing? Planks of wood. Two planks of wood, okay. So we gotta get rid of that too. If we can pull this off, Brandon's going to grab the dresser and toss it in there. And then, no, none of that had bed bugs. I was looking. Yeah. Hey, you know what? If you can toss it out, it'll break here. The dresser. Watch out for my, stuff. yeah, oh shit. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna help out Brandon right now. We're gonna get to work. I got those two matches, those two that gotta go in the trailer. This can go in the dumpster, but I'm, I gotta make those two fit and that mattress over there right now. We gotta do that right now. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna make some money today. We're gonna make some money today, bro. We are uh, at job number two. We're going to job number three in just a second. Uh, it's an eviction. It's really awful. I got Brandon here. We're kind of learning the ropes right now. So we're kind of we're kind of feeding off each other. He works really good, actually. And he's up for anything. That's what's cool about it. He doesn't question anything. I tell him, dump it here. We'll dump it here. If we're not, we just move to the next one. So we're gonna go to the other dumpster over here. So, so far, I'm gonna build them uh, about 300 bucks, and then we'll come here, and we're gonna build these people about 300 bucks. So about $600 total, don't you think? So far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About 600 bucks total is what we have. What are you thinking so far, uh, Brandon? Uh, the biggest problem we had is the sewer water. Looks like there's a sewer pipeline broken, and it was gonna... Yeah, so picking up items with that covered in it and then the mattress had bed bugs yeah. it's not always easy sometimes no. it is yeah but and you didn't know easy. you didn't know that mattress had bed bugs no i didn't <laughs> i didn't know either so it's not like i sabotaged you okay so let's get this now my wife's not gonna let me back in the house dude ever <laughs> dude those are cool apartments building right next to this shithole oh yeah all right in total i think about clear, clear. let's go Okay, so in total, with all the dumpsters in this area, we covered, what, one, two, three, four dumpsters. The biggest one was the first one, that was at about 250, you said. Yeah. Next one was about 100, that's 350. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one had a lot of stuff too, we'll price that one at 250, that's five, that's uh, 600, right? Yeah. Uh, 250 plus 150, uh, that's 400, plus this one, four, five, six, you know, Regardless, let's just do it all at 600 bucks. Yeah. A bulk price. You know what I mean? I think it's worth $600. Uh, some of the stuff, most of the stuff we end up throwing inside the dumpster for, for real. Uh, and, and to be honest, the biggest problem we had was the sewer water and the bed bugs. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let's get on to the next apartment complex. This is a different building. This is a different manager and different um, owner. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right. What I'm going to do, you start loading this. I'm going to walk down that way and take a turn be sure there's no other trash all right guys so we just arrived at what is this the third job right third third job the third job the second apartment complex and i see the trash it's on the side of the building really fast we're gonna go out there and take a look at it turn on my truck <sighs> brandon 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 go ahead and observe the situation talk about talk to tell me 
What we're looking at, brother? It's not metal, plastic. It's a mattress headboard. Used to be a. Just break that. Yeah, that's gonna go. Okay. You don't have to be a jerk about it. Yeah. Okay. Well. It'll take your frustration out. Yeah, a take frustration. Bit. What do you think? How much? How much for this? Yeah. Oh, there's stuff behind it. Mm-hmm. It's a little dresser. Uh, 150. 250 bucks. Okay, we got it done. <laughs> All right, hey, so here's what I'm gonna do, Brandy. You start loading this shit. Put as much as you can in their dumpster. Mm -hmm. Only load this because we're this. The dumpster's the trailer's done. Yeah. Trailer's done. We got. We can't do anything. Can we put a piano on this bitch? Figure it out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What else do we got? Well, the got basketball goal. Basketball. Fucking basketball. Goal. <laughs> Five dollars. <laughs> All right, we're done. An experience for the rookie. Rookie? You're not a rookie. You've been doing this. rookie. What do you think, man? So, what's next? Uh, a piano. Piano? Yeah, that will fit. Right? Yeah. Let's, let's go over and see if he's home. Right. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, guys. Uh, Two hundred fifty dollars at this clean out. Just finished doing it. Let's get on. Hey bud, I'm picking up a piano. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay, so we're at what? Uh, Jumped over three. Right? Oh, it's in the garage. That's even better. Oh. Man, he's talking. We don't even understand it. Piano. Step one, he's right. That is called the uh, it's called the neck board. Why? It's formed at the neck when you pay the piano. That's it. Over one. There it is. Third. Top board's going out. The bobbinier boards right here. The bobbinier boards. Uh, a bobbinier is an Italian word for keyboard. Yeah, there you go. You want to give it a shot? There you go. <laughs> so that is the Italian word for keyboard. Piano keys separating itself from the bobbinier keyboard. Anybody seen that before? Seen that one. So usually a uh, piano, it, uh, it weighs between 800 kilos to 950 kilos. But we're halfway. We're half, oh yes, halfway. So we've lessened the weight of the piano by at least 310 kilos. This will be the last part we load up. Uh, step number five, somewhere around there, step five is the platform board and the platform board is the board that actually holds the piano upright. The platform board is also the strongest part of the whole board and is actually the heaviest part other than the accordion. You want to say it's a hard judge? It's a hard. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm going to get it. Even though it's a harp and I know I'm wrong, I'm going to call it accordion. Is that cool with you, Brad? Oh my god, dude! 
Dude, you grabbed it from here and moved it that way? Yeah. Nah, dude. I, had to, I just had to cut the post out of the fence because I just shoved that post in, re re and nail the fence together. The feet! Oh my god, champion! World time, 110 pounds, six foot four, out of the University of Missouri. Check this beast out! Okay. <laughs> again, you correct it one more you're time. Correct me again, dude. That's three in a row. Holy moly, dude! Vagina, athlete. Vagina, athlete. Dude, how did you get showed up like that, bro? Oh, 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 right. you created the cracks so and let the monster over here be beast you. Is that yes, what you're saying? Exactly. Get out of here, man. This is embarrassing, man. I don't know. I don't care. I can't work with you. You know, we came up to this house to do a piano, asked us to remove this big rock. This monster of a beast of 110 pounds over here. <laughs> Dude, we got showed up. Let's get him a rock that he can maybe break. Do we have a rock he can maybe break? We can get him something over here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Got you something, brother. Get you, get your sledge ready. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think you can do that. I think you can do that. Don't, don't get near. Don't get near the rock, please, please, please. Don't get near the rock. Okay. All right. Yeah, he did it. Wow, that's. Yeah, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. That's not good. Not good. All right, we're at job number. It's a refrigerator removal. Uh, let's get it done, man. Is he home? Uh, he said something about like a soccer game. Oh, okay. We'll lean it down a minute. Grab that, grab that stuff over there. Job number five. We're in Highland Park, Texas, one of the richest neighborhoods in Dallas. Check it out. It looks like Nightmare on Elm Street. Look, dude, the neighborhood in Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the house. All right, call them up. Get up your payment. All right, guys, we're gonna head out of here. We're gonna call up, get payment for it. Forty-five bucks, flat rate. We're going to another job right now. Uh, it's not far from here. Hey, so the other job is not far from here. No, not far. Away. Okay. So what's something else that you've learned as you're working with me on a ride-along that you can take home and notice that you need to work on or maybe that you're just surprised that you saw? It's something regarding um, communication with your customers. Right. So think about it like if you have somebody that's going to come to your house for whatever reason, handyman, whatever, um, they give you a window and then they just happen to show up. But you actually call your customers and tell them you're on the way that that way they know pretty much exactly when to expect to see you which is important to them because they've got things going on at the house they got to prepare maybe their dogs or their kids or you know whatever they got to do to get ready for um, the junk removal service and so I think it's a very important tip that I'll be sure to utilize as I'm executing business for my company line art all in the junk removal. Right and I think one of the things is Letting the customers also know that we're kind of accommodating them by leaving the fridges outside. Right. And they knew they couldn't be home. Mm -hmm. So you offered, hey, can you leave the fridge outside? Right. And you asked them and they're like, hell yeah, why not? And what do we just do? In less than five minutes, loaded the fridge. And that's it. Yeah. A lot of people think this also, Brandon, that making $45 off a fridge 
isn't really worth it wasting the time but where are we going right now to another job to another job and we just picked this up why because we're going to it's another it's on the way it's on the way and then something else that with you saying that brings to mind is they're going to remember that they got a really good price for that fridge removal so if they've got some other sort of removal or they're getting a new couch they're getting a new mattress a new whatever they guess guess who they're going to call that's right that's right so, all right guys so, so that's another important thing i think that i learned today as well yeah another uh we have one more job we're only seven minutes away we picked up this fridge on the way to the last uh, job of the day to be a it is you bags of trash and a basketball goal but i will tell you there's something special about this basketball goal that's going to give us a challenge sand yep it's full of sand and usually sand on these things weigh a lot brandon so we're gonna have to find a way to cut the basketball goal in half which we brought our saw saw, saw, saw yeah. which is in my truck actually so we brought your saw saw it's a battery powder saw saw and you know what i just thought about something both of my saws are in here now so because we're in the other truck if one doesn't work we got two more two we got two more we're gonna try your battery operated i don't use battery operated ever i've never owned one and i just knew they run out of electrics so fast so i'm like and it doesn't have the power you'll see yeah yeah but but i will tell you this it's it's faster it's going to be a lot faster cut because it's not a big cut it's just aluminum you know what i mean we're just cutting through aluminum so let's get to it and let's see what kind of trouble we get into with this basketball let's go let's go Man, you got to evolve to the environment. Yeah. But this is not oh, the environment yeah. for it. Ladies and gentlemen, do you... Uh, I just got a net for that. The thing about it is we always... We, whenever it's something like... If it's trash, it's trash. But whenever it's something family-oriented, uh, we always like to say a few words before it goes, sir. And I, I can feel that. I, I don't know. For some reason, I have a feeling that you want to say some words about how it affected your family. This was a great place to... to come together yeah 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 this is what we always will remember yeah brandon how about you i'm gonna remember um the sand the Breaking sand back. the fact that sand yeah, yeah i remember kinda, that too do you have anything you want to say hon <laughs> uh just the games of course of course you pig. pig yeah pig 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 i had bacon this one around too. the world i just want to say that's a good one yeah 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 i was i was here uh a, months ago months and months ago and uh i saw it and i had a relationship with it for about maybe a minute right maybe a minute and now i'm having another one for about a few minutes so uh, i really don't have much to say but it was nice to see it come down yes. yeah all right you can <laughs> cut it now brother you got it. are you cutting
she could only afford two, I said, ma'am, if you can do three, uh, I'll work with you. You know what I mean? Right. And we agreed with that one? Yes. $300 out. I'm going to be honest with you, it was a $400 job, but anytime you can help somebody, that counts for a lot. Yeah, it does. You know, and we were able to help her out. The second job of the day was in Irving, Texas, off of Portland Road, and we removed some stuff from the apartments. Yes. And that came out to be a $600 job. Dumpsters. Dumpsters. Uh, so we went from the first street, from first apartments right across the street to the second set of apartments, and all together, $600. And you thought we should have charged what for that one? Uh, about half that. As we continued to go to more dumpsters, there was more items and more items and more items. And, and you saw why I charged that. Much. Right, exactly. Okay. So we finished at 600 So so far we got 900 bucks, and we've only done two jobs. Right. But immediately after that, we went to another apartment complex where we did a $250 job, and that was the eviction. So it only had a few things on the side of the dumpster. It wasn't a lot of stuff. Right. Uh, we were able to get that, stack it up, and that was probably our shortest job of the day at 250 bucks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we stayed there, what, 10 minutes, 12, 15 minutes, something like that, loaded up, and we were out of there. Uh, and then we're now at 9, 10, 11, 11, 50 mm -hmm. for the day. Uh, after that, we went and did the piano, and that's where things got out of hand. It did. It got yeah. very out of hand. You know, we ran into a problem with some lunatic there, young cat, um, weighed about a buck 10, buck 20 if he was soaking wet. Remember he mm -hmm. said that? And he was six, like four. six four. <laughs> Yeah, he went a little psycho on the sledgehammer. He did. Uh, helped us out, beat it up. We got the big rock. We got the piano in there. And he he stayed for the show. He was there for the whole show, and that was two hundred dollars. So we're at eleven fifty plus two more. We're at thirteen fifty. And then we decided to come to our last job of the day. But we changed vehicles. We changed vehicles, uh, and we picked up the F five fifty. So the F five fifty women dropped off the 16 foot box truck and we went to the it got the f550 and the first job after the f550 was what it was the refrigerator job yeah, yeah. 45 bucks 45 dollar refrigerator job yeah. but that was your job yeah so i'm not gonna add it to my what what do i have 1400 dollars uh -huh. 14 i'm not gonna add it to that let's go to the next job after that which was basketball goal. basketball goal, which came out to be a little different i think you should tell the story on what really happened here the wife wanted the basketball hoop gone. The reason why we we're going there was to make the basketball goal to be gone. Yes. And so that's what we're there for. Uh, when the husband found out about it, he was not too happy about it. At all. Not happy at all. And so there was a little bit of back and forth and we were there. We we're there to do a job and we just decided we we're going to pull the basketball goal down, cut it, get the sand out, get it out of there. And that's what happened. Uh, you forgot to mention something about Jamie, the homeowner. Jamie, the homeowner, homeowner. So he did maybe seem like he had seem like a few drinks. Um, um, it's what three o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. Then it was like two thirty. Yeah. Yeah. So she, may, he maybe did, a couple. Did you hear? And the then point? they're gonna go on a run and to go do go. more. Yes. So they were gonna clean up. They, they said that she was gonna clean up next week, but they had to get some liquor for next week too. Yes. Yep. I'm like, okay. So yes, Jamie was a little tipsy on this jumper. A little bit. A little bit tipsy. Uh, he wanted the goal. She had to get rid of it, and ultimately, it's in the back of this truck. We're still forgetting something. We built them a sandbox. Oh, the sandbox. And that's really what pushed the price to 250. So overall, the basketball goal and just the bags of trash, how much do you think? Basketball goal, bags of trash. I usually charge $75 for the basketball goal. Okay. And then the bags of trash, which was really nothing. Come on, dude. 150, one, 125. Yeah. So really we charged them extra $125 because we built a sandbox. Yeah. Part of the junk guys experience. Yeah. And they could, it could be used by grandchildren. Grandchildren. Uh, a burial ground. A uh, place to... That might be what's happening right now. Yeah, that might be. Right. I, I, I had a feeling she was going to get in trouble for something. I just had a feeling. Anyway, guys, we ended the day with a, bit over, a little over 1500 bucks. Brandon's first time ever doing a ride-along with me or even working with me at all. Brandon, what are your uh, thoughts on working with me for the whole day? Had a lot of fun, um, and that's that's the 
big part of it is you can tell now. Oh yeah, yeah, you can yeah. tell. Yeah, had had a lot of fun, um, and you can tell that's a big part of it that makes it enjoyable. Yeah, it's physical. Yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, we run into issues, but if you have fun with it, you make it fun. Um, then it's it's fulfilling, and then you're helping customers. They're paying you. It's a win-win. Um, one of the things I wanted to ask is how it was working with Lionheart Holland and Junker Bowl. Because here's the thing, um, my wife's going to um, a concert tomorrow. Yeah. What, what concert is that? Uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Hard so, tickets, hard tickets again. Hard, hard tickets. tickets. So that's her favorite singer, favorite artist. So I know when she goes and sees her in person, she's going to be all starstruck. And I kind of yeah. felt like when you saw me this morning, you, you kind of maybe felt that way. Is that right? On a scale of one to ten, like how accurate is that comparison? Oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, uh, no, I felt like it was a ten. Yeah, I, I don't want to really talk about that in front of the camera. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I think off camera we can talk about that. You know okay. what I mean? But like exciting to see you and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> like a like a puppy dog when he comes home and sees his owner. Right. Yeah. That's what. That's kind of what I thought, but I just wanted to give you the one to ten gauge. Yeah, we won't have to gauge it. Our friendship's really good. Okay, okay. Yeah, our friendship's good. I'll take that. Yeah. Now that the day I is over, why don't you tell them your website, who you are, what areas you serve, and maybe your phone number. Lionheartjunkhauling.com. We service the northern DFW metro area with a focus on Prosper, Salina, Aubrey, Little Elm, Briscoe, McKinney, Denton, but we will go further if you need our services and prices are on the website, full transparency, you can see the price, you don't have to shop around, 940-440-2449, give me a call or shoot me a text, we'll get you taken care of, thank you. Pow!